What's up everyone, Kate is here and today we're going to talk about JetForm Builder post submit action settings. So guys, while creating any form on your website, one of the inevitable steps is to set up and customize the actions your form will perform after a successful submission. These settings can be found right here under the Post Submit Actions tab. First thing we need to do is to click on the New Action button to see what options it has to offer. First and foremost, here we see a drop-down list with all available actions as of now. Pretty reasonable and very useful solutions for all sorts of different cases, such as Send email that will notify a user via email of a successful form submission, for example. Insert update post that will automatically create or update a post on your website based on the information user entered in the form. Register user, which will literally register new users to your website or update user, which will provide your website users with an opportunity to edit their data. This one actually will be really good to use on the user account page. Call a hook. This one will basically run a custom hook, a piece of code that you've set up previously to interact with WordPress core. Call a web hook which will help you to set automated tasks from third-party services like Zapier or Integromat to a server. Redirect to page, which is very obvious. It redirects users either to a certain static page on your website or another web page. And MailChimp, GetResponse and ActiveCampaign allows you to connect your form with these popular marketing tools. Now, after choosing any of these actions, and by the way, you can add as many of these as you need, you can add it, the action to customize it to your convenience, set condition to specify particular cases of form actions. So for example, the confirmation email can be sent only in the case the user ticks a special checkbox. Also, you can move the action up or down just for the organization purposes, and of course, you can delete it if needed. So this was the brief overview of post-submit action settings. Please stay tuned for detailed tutorials that are coming soon. Thanks a lot for watching this video, hope it was useful and informative. If you still have any questions left, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below this video or contact our support team so they could assist you. Have a lovely day and take care!